Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a new product that is in the store. I want to show you how to use it, how to get it onto your iPad. Um, this one is one of the eye design shapes that I make for Keynote. And this one is the notebook cover. And here's just a couple cute ideas that you can do with this shape. First, I want to show you how to get it onto your iPad. Now what I've done is I've downloaded it from the store and put it on my computer. I downloaded it to my Mac actually and I put it in Dropbox. So here I'm going to navigate to that file And I've already unzipped the file. As you can see here, this is the zip version. This is what you're going to see in your Dropbox or when or on your desktop, wherever your files go when you download them to your computer. So what you want to do is unzip this file. It has to be unzipped before you can open it on the iPad or you're going to have all kinds of trouble. So once you unzip it, you're going to see this JPEG and this is just a cover sheet and you're going to see of course the terms of use and then you're going to see the dot key file this is the file that you want to import so you're going to tap it and then once it downloads or opens when you see the shape inside on your window in Dropbox you're going to tap these three buttons and go and tap export and then you want to tap open in and here I have all the choices of where I can open this file in of course I chose Keynote so here it is it's in Keynote this is what it looks like when it comes to Keynote and this is actually this file is two parts you've got this purple section which is just a rectangle. This is exactly sized to the eye planner and the eye journal, so you don't have to resize it at all in any way. And then this other file or this other shape is just an effect to make it look like your notebook has a spine on it or it's bound. And you never have to move anything separate anything it's not grouped the file does not come in to keynote grouped and you don't have to do anything you don't have to move it you don't have to resize it and what you want to do is just tap on the rectangle and go to the paintbrush make sure image is selected and tap replace and now you want to navigate to wherever the background is. I'm going to use one of the Whimsy papers from the Whimsy kit. I really love stripes. I like them sideways, up and down, and I love diagonal stripes. So I'm going to choose this gray. And now I want to make these stripes a little wider. So what I've done is I've double tapped and I'm moving my slider till I get them the width that I want them. And now I want to make sure that there is a gray stripe in each corner because if it's white, it's going to look like the corner is chopped off my notebook cover. Now I want to decorate my cover I'm going to go back to my Whimsy kit. This is another iDesign file that is fillable. And these are all the shapes that come with the Whimsy kit. I'm going to copy and paste this so that I'm not affecting my originals. These work the same as any of the eye design shapes. For Keynote, you just tap and fill. It's as easy as that. Tap and fill. Of course, you've got to navigate to wherever 
the patterns or photos or scrapbook paper, whatever you want to fill these shapes with, you have to navigate to. So I like to keep all mine in Dropbox. So that's, I'm going to Dropbox because I also am going to use part of the glitter collection that's also available in the store. And I'll put links to all the products that I'm using to do this cover. I'll put them in the description so you can easily find them if you want to take a closer look. All right, so this is the glitter collection. And I'm starting with like a gold. And I want to make this glitter look a little grainier, so I'm growing it. To do that, you just double tap and move the slider till you like how it looks. Let's fill this center now. Green glitter. And I want to grow this one too so that I can see the grainy sparkle of the glitter. Next, I'm going to fill the outer flower of this blue one. I'm going to fill it with an orange or coral. And now the center. I'll use the same gold for the center that I used for the other flower. And now, let's see, one more flower. This one's a little lighter yellow. And now the center. So now I want to move all of these flowers that I filled over to my stripe cover that I filled. So to do that, I want to tap on one element and then as I'm holding it I'm tapping on everything else I want to copy over to my cover so as you can see I selected them all copied them and now I'm going to navigate back over to my striped cover now I'm going to tap somewhere on the blank white area and when the menu pops up I'm going to tap paste and now here's all my flowers I'm going to group them because I want to resize them to get them all to fit on the screen and now I'm going to ungroup them and then I'm going to group each flower separately they're the centers and the outside and then move them around make a few copies I want to get the placement just right and the size just right and I'm going to copy a couple of them and resize those as well this one's really tiny I have to zoom in so I can select both the center and the outside and group it this part is just basically a matter of placement and sizing And then when you get the sizing the way you want it, you can tap on them. And since I've grouped them, I can just copy and paste, make some of them smaller, make some of them 
even smaller. I just want to fill this lower corner area and with just a cluster of these glitter flowers. The next thing I'm going to do is put a drop shadow on the cover. So to do this, I'm going to turn on the shadow. Be sure that you have style selected. You turn on the shadow or move the slider over. And this is my favorite one for books. You see how nice it curves that bottom edge. A nice curve. So now I want to tap on my blank white space, select all, copy, and we're going to go over to Good Notes, and I'm going to cover my war binder. So I just tap, paste, and as you can see, there's kind of a clear border around it, so I'm going to crop that out, but I'm going to be careful not to get too close because I don't want to disturb or cut off any of the drop shadow that I added over in Keynote. And now that this bounding box is smaller, it'll be easier for me to size this up. I want to make sure not to make it too big because of course I want that drop shadow to show at the bottom. And I'll just nudge it up just a little bit because I want to, I want that to be seen in comparison when I'm looking at the thumbnails of all my notebooks. And I think that's just about right, that placement. You see how you can still see the subtle drop shadow? Yep, looks great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And I hope you're going to make beautiful covers and I can't wait to see them in the Facebook group. Until the next video, love you guys. Bye.